In this video, I will review the DataCamp signal assessment. I'm here in the DataCamp website, in the skill track section. Let's click in Python Fundamentals track. In the end of the track, you can take this skill assessment of Python programming. The test is based on these courses, Introduction to Python, Intermediate Python, Python Data Science Toolbox Part 1 and Part 2. The goal of the test is to rank all the users from DataCamp. Therefore, to differentiate the advanced user from the expert user, DataCamp asks questions that are not included in these four courses. That's why I record YouTube videos to help you to answer the questions in the test. For example, if you watch this video here, everything in Python is an object, and in this other video, learn how to create a class in Python, you'll be fine to answer all the questions about object-oriented programming in the test. Now, let's see the test. Let's click here in the Python programming and see the format of the test. Here is the time that you have to answer the question. See that is decreasing, 68 seconds, 66 seconds. Well, we are in the first question. See that you have 15 questions here. And here, you can read complete the code to return the output. That means you have to complete here, this space, write code here, to get this output here. 0 to A, 1 to B, and 2 to C. That means you have to write this loop here to read these letters and get this output here. I finish the test and I get this score here, 133. That is 86 percentile. That means I am above 86 percent of my peers. In my scale, advanced users are 100 points A, and the intermediate users is 85 points B, and the novice is 75 points C. If you get a higher score, you must take a snapshot of the screen and save it. Because each time that you take the test, they delete the previous score. The logic is that this test is an actual snapshot of your skills. If you don't practice and take this test three months later, your score will be lower. In this side of the window, DataCamp makes some recommendation based on your score. That means DataCamp suggests you to take some courses or retake some courses to improve your score. Below here, DataCamp map your strengths and skill gaps. Therefore, you know what you have to study more. Let's click here to review the answers. I got wrong this question 5. The computer gave this input here, S equal Fox. And the computer expects that I produce space Fox. The red here is my wrong code, and the green is the right answer. I should write S dot right justification in the for to justify to the right side and you use it for space. That means three space for fox and one empty space. Now let's see question six. And remember, if you retake the test, you are not going to be able to see this test again. That's why you might take a snapshot of the questions with the answers. Data camp gives this code W equal Python then w iterator equal inter w. Then I should complete this code to produce this output here, p, just the letter p. This red is my wrong code. I should write next w iterator. See that if you wanna maximize your score in the test, just keep retaking the test and see what you got wrong and figure out why and then next time you can do better.